Okay, so now I'm catching on from the from the point where I stopped uh, during the last video, and then now let's explore a little bit more the tool and, and understanding uh, the philosophy. So, first let's start with these buttons here. So you have start, so you can go to the very beginning, and you can go to the end to to the last pin, and then you can go reverse. Then you you have to remember here we are showing 15 pings and going back 10 so I'm going backwards 10 by 10 um, pings and yeah and then I can go forward the things you can also do is that the I'm, I'm not actually using this mouse uh, this button sometimes I'm just using the mouse buttons because if I press the right the right I go ahead and if I press the mid mo middle mouse button, I can go backwards. So it's a lot more than cleaning and go here and cleaning and go here. So it's uh, you save a lot of time doing like that. So um, other things I didn't explain is that uh, MB Edit is uh, can be quite handy and quite powerful because you can have you ha lots of. Uh, keyboard shortcut so for example if I would like to cut this part I can go easily with the grab and, and grab the whole thing but I also can sometimes just go with uh, toe and then I select something and then I press the A key and then I delete everything on the left side the same thing I can do here if I go and select one sounding so the red one and then I press D I delete everything on the right side and you can reverse everything including the data that the sound uh, the persona classified as bad so you can do pretty much everything so I haven't explained yet uh, but this is the progress bar uh, so it, it shows the, our current position at, at, at this file so if I go back you can clearly see where I am and I'm always showing 15 pings as I selected here and if I would like to go to the next file I would just press next file so and once I'm done you pr press quit one thing that you have to keep in mind is that uh, this is definitely not a tool that you go here and close like this so if you want to, uh, to have everything store uh, everything uh, you know organized never close this tool using this guy here you have to go with quit and then everything you have done is perfectly stored and saved if you go and just close the window like this then uh, everything you've done uh, with this file with the file that you are editing right now it gets lost so you have to keep this in mind so other things we can explore here is that uh, for instance uh, you can go here to view and I can show for ex for example the speed so I've if the data starts to be a bit weird sometimes you can check the speed and you can say okay the, the vessel is slowly stopping for uh, let's say a CDD station or a car station and then uh, the, the vessel is shaking like hell and then you can start to see okay and if the ve if we would imagine that the vessel would be slowing down pretty quickly for the station and then we could also have a look at the roll and it, the vessel would be probably rolling like hell so it's not the case here and then we can see also the heave so you can see oh, okay the waves were la so round about one and a half meter so not a pretty bad sea condition you when you have sometimes really noisy and bad data here you can go to the heave and, and see that uh, you have six seven meters wave and then you can yeah deal with that so things you have to keep in mind you have also I will go back to the print timestamps and you have here for example go to a specific uh, time so in case you have a huge file uh, I have I have seen that people store uh, six hours of data in a single file, and then of course to go back and uh, and forward is quite uh, it takes a lot of clicks. So you you can just wait, 
select uh, go to a specific time so I, I could go and say yeah I want to go to I don't know let's have a look this file let's see. yeah it starts at 15 46 and go up to 14 36 so let's suppose that we go to the start and let's go to 4 o'clock so if I would go here and say 16 0 0 and apply you see immediately I change to 4 o'clock so other things we can do is that we can go to filters I definitely don't recommend you to use filters for you know when you have lots of fine structures when the you have a sort of micro bathymetry that is very important for you filters are let's say a good tool when you want to have a, a a decent map in uh, no time but keep in mind that filters are like black boxes uh, so and you don't fully you cannot predict how they are gonna act with, over the data. You can have a clue, of course, but uh, in uh, my experience, filters are often also deleting good data. So, so therefore, I just use filters more or less for the outer beam. So, in case I would like to to deal with these guys here on the left side from my pings, I I, I have said this um, before. So I just say, okay, I want to cut from yeah from the most outer beam to 8000 meters so I press here roughly I can of course be precise if I go here and I click very precisely so I'm just doing quick and dirty so I say here apply by distance select apply and then voila here's the my data cut on the left side problem with the suitor is that you if I reverse the filter, so if I go to 8000 meters here and to the most outer beam and I say apply, I reverse the filter and I apply the filter to on the other side. It's not quite working, I think. Yeah, but that's the way it is. Uh, I mean, not that it doesn't work, it's just that, uh, yeah, okay. The, I, I didn't check about the distance, so it was my mistake. The filter was working perfectly. So, so if I reverse filter again, then I, um, I basically <laughs> cancel the filter on the right side and I apply it to the left side. So if you want to uh, work with these filters, you have to apply it once, you have to close the file and you have to open it again. So Therefore, uh, the MB clean the command uh, in the, in the terminal can do this kind of things uh, for both sides. So the two the graphical tool work this way, and that's way we have to yeah deal with that. So I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, I will just show you quickly that we can uh, change to a different file. So. Um, normally we just go pressing next file but I, if I want to uh, skip some files and go directly to file uh, 0005 because I know that there is something interesting there and I want to see this file and then I select that one and I say edit selected file so it's loading the file and I press dismiss to close this window and then here it is so the things you should keep in mind is that uh, if you have filters on like I did by mistake once you um, once you have a filter on immediately when you open a, a new file the filter gets immediately applied so if you don't want to do that you apply the filter and then you switch it off and then go to dismiss that's the way it is so and once uh, as again as I explained before, once you are done with that, you just go to quit, and that's pretty much everything for MB Edit. And on the next video, we were gonna see the 3D editor, MB Grid Vis. Okay, bye.